Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tana with Boardroom to Bounce House and today's video is all about stocking stuffers. Today's video is a collaboration with my friend Rach from Rach Plus Five and we're talking all about stocking stuffers. Rachel is an amazing mom. She has five kids and she has so many good ideas. She has ideas for you across various ages because her oldest is 14 and her youngest is two. On her channel, you will find lots of motherhood and homemaking videos. She makes cleaning videos, grocery hauls, basically anything that can help motivate or inspire other women to make their life a little bit easier. So after you watch my video, head on over to hers so you can see all the stocking stuffer ideas that she has for you this year in 2020. If you came over from Rachel's channel, please introduce yourself in the comments. I would love to meet you. Let's jump right into the 202 ideas that I have for you. And the first is Play-Doh. I feel like this is like a classic stocking stuffer for kids. Uh, I have to be somewhat careful with this because my baby will try to eat literally anything. So if my toddler wants to play with Play-Doh, I do have to put him in his high chair and make sure that he's like completely away from the baby. But I thought these little mini ones were cute. I think I got these at Walmart. I'll try to link them below. But they were just like a little set and I thought they were really adorable. And then the other little thing that I think would fit really well in a stocking is these little trucks. And we got these on Amazon. These are like kind of a great size to fit in a stocking. This next toy I actually got on Poshmark this summer and I thought it was so cute. And the person I bought them from had like four or five of them. So I bought all of them. But they're basically a Thomas um, Lego set. And I like it because it's like the big Legos, the mega blocks. It's Thomas themed, which my toddler is totally obsessed with Thomas. He's totally obsessed with trains. But I'm actually going to give this to my baby because this is more of like his size. It's really big. And I thought that if I gave this to my baby, maybe he would stop playing with my toddler's train. Because I'll be honest with you, with two under two, and they're not that, they're 20 months apart. My toddler like is super into his trains now. And my baby is interested in anything that his brother is playing with so he'll try to like get right in there and grab the trains from him and it just honestly it just causes like a big fight all the time um I got a long 18 years probably ahead of me here but I thought that by giving this to my baby and like having the baby open it my toddler would see like okay this is his brother's trains they both have trains now if he wants to play with this he's going to need to learn to share so that was why I decided to grab these and I thought it would fit. I'm probably gonna put one in the stocking and then put the rest in like a little gift bag for him. So I have a toddler and a baby. So I'm gonna put the all purpose um, Honest Company Bomb. This is my favorite diaper cream. It's all purpose cream. So you can use it for other things too. Like if they get a scratch or a boo-boo, um, a boo-boo. But uh, anyway, so I'm gonna put that in my toddler stocking. And then I just have like a baby aqua for here. So I'm going to put that in baby stocking. I have a whole bunch of samples like this that I'm also going to stuff in their stockings. I like to like save the samples. I put them in like one place in their room and then I'll put them into the diaper bag like when we go places just so that I'm like carrying less stuff. But honestly, we haven't really gone anywhere in 2020. So I have a ton of these samples. So I'm just going to put like a few of these in each of their stocking. So that's an idea for you. If you have, you know, if you get like Sephora samples, you could use them for your ki your kids if they're older, or you could use them for yourself. Cause let's be honest, moms, you usually have to stuff their own stocking. So use your Sephora samples. I have this little Mickey play pack and I don't remember where I got this this summer, but I thought it was so cute and I've been hanging on to it. It's just like a little um, play pack with two tiny little crayons, which is like kind of perfect for when you're out and you just need something to entertain them. So I'm going to put that in my toddler stocking. I also have this latchy catchy. Basically, I mean, you could make this if you're like a crafter or sewer, you could make this, but it's basically just like a plush piece of fabric with like a rubber band on each side, like a hair tie almost. And you just put it around the doorknob so that like the door never will slam. So that way, if the door close, closes quickly, you're never gonna just like accidentally wake the baby up. And I'm gonna put this in my toddler stocking. One more thing that I'm gonna put in their stocking is this Vicks Baby Rub. They've both been feeling like a little bit congested lately and we are kind of like into flu season, cold season. They both got their flu shots, but one of them will probably get RSV and then give it to the other one because that's just what happens. So I got this little baby rub and I'm going to put that in one of their stockings. For their stocking this year is was this five-piece 
Mickey collectible friend set. These are just like little characters. It comes with Goofy, Mickey and Minnie, Pluto, and then Donald Duck. And they're about the size of my palm or so, I guess, yeah. Um, so I have those here. And I'm gonna put two in each kid's stocking. And then I've already wrapped um, one of them. I guess I wrapped Donald Duck in here. So I'm gonna put two in each of their stocking and then I'll just stick one in my stocking uh, just to keep it equal amongst the two boys. So I thought these would be cute and fit well inside the stocking. In our family, we do wrap the things that go in the stocking. I just think it like makes the magic last a little bit longer because the kids actually have to unwrap the packaging. Um, so I've already wrapped one of them. I also have a box of crayons here. These are just Crayola crayons in this box. Each of them will get a book in their stocking. I got Hop on Pop and Go Dog Go. These are like the perfect size book for a stocking because they're you know small and narrow. I got these on clearance at TJ Maxx. I love these for when my son, he's potty training right now, and I love these for when he's you know sitting on the potty because they're very they're small enough that he can just hold the book with both hands. So I just thought it would be nice to give each of the boys a book to open. For my toddler, I got this Thomas and Friends on the go toothbrush set. It's a um, toddler toothbrush and toothpaste. And honestly, like this toothbrush is super tiny and he'll probably just chew the bristles in five seconds. But I bought it because it's Thomas and at least this little case, like maybe we can use this when we're going to our gra grandparents' house and all that stuff. So he loves Thomas, so he'll hopefully like that. And then I also got this Thomas and Friends coloring activity book. It has 24 pages of coloring pages and then it also comes with two sticker sheets and it has this really cool crayon that like has different colors on each side of the circle. So I thought that was pretty cute and I got that at Amazon. I linked it below for you so check that out. I got this teether for my nine month old. It says three month plus. He's getting his like fifth and sixth teeth right now and we just broke one of his teethers the other day on accident. So I just thought this was funny because he like wanted to eat pizza when he was like four months old. He was like reaching for people's plates. So this little pizza from Fisher Price, I got that for him. And then the last thing that I got is actually just to stick in my own stocking, but it's also from the taller Target dollar spot and it's just this little um, desk calendar 12 month and I just thought it was cute and I don't know if anyone will remember to get me things for my stocking so I always just put one or two things in my own stocking. I love to use scraps any way that I possibly can so like a normal person would probably have thrown this piece of scrap out. I did not and I am going to wrap mini in it because I can. So I don't know, I just don't believe in waste, especially when it comes to really nice wrapping paper and especially stocking stuffers because I don't think they have to be wrapped perfectly. The whole point is to just give some excitement and oh, what's this? You kind of guess what it is when you first take it out of the stocking. It makes it kind of interesting and fun. So save your scraps. They're like the perfect size and then you don't have to like cut a huge piece if you decide that you want to wrap your stocking stuffers. It saves you time, it saves you money, makes the environment better because you're wasting less. I mean this is a very odd shape to wrap but here it is. This is mini in here. Another tip when you're wrapping something is if you've measured it this way and then you go to do it and you find out that it actually doesn't fit, or if you always wanna do it this way because you actually will save more paper, but I think it's harder to measure. You can turn the item sideways, and then you end up using the corner to help the, fat, to help the paper touch. So this way, the paper did not touch, but when I turn the item sideways, I'm now using the big corner to cover it, like so. So a lot of people would say like, oh, you should just measure your paper that way always. But I find it harder to measure and to make sure that I'm getting like straight lines. So I really only use that technique when I'm using scraps that are already pre-cut or when I cut something and then I realize, oops, I made a boo-boo. I actually cut this slightly too small. I just put an initial in the corner. So that way I know whose it is.
stuffing the stocking, what I like to do is actually, as you saw, I like to wrap everything that is like makes sense to wrap. So anything that's gonna be like a surprise or a toy, like I'll wrap. I won't wrap things like this, and I probably won't wrap like the diaper cream because those are just like, they're fillers. But I wrap everything that I'm gonna wrap and then I store everything away. So I'm curious to know where you hide your stocking stuffers or just your gifts in general. I'm actually in like my back, um, this is like a room off of our kitchen. It's not quite like a sun porch, but it's it's, a, it's like a modified porch. We've been doing a bit of a renovation this year. You can see like this part of the door framing is not finished yet. We're hoping we get to that in the new year. Anyway, my husband built this storage area. We call it the up top. And I have my stocking stuffers stashed up here already. Um, the ones that are already wrapped at least. And I think he stashed some of his gifts up here too. I probably shouldn't be going up here. But there's my bin with all the Santa gifts, that red wrapping paper. And then that Cafe Du Monde bag has stocking stuffers in it that I've already wrapped. So I have managed to tuck these away so that nobody can find them. And then when it's time to stuff the stockings on Christmas Eve, I'm gonna go ahead and like with this one, I'm probably just gonna like take this apart. I'm not gonna wrap this toy and I'll just put it right in the stocking and then it will be kind of like something that he'll find like different parts and pieces to as he unpacks his stocking that, you know, on Christmas morning. And it'll be just kind of fun because he can like build it while we're opening stockings. And there you have it, a stuffed stocking for Christmas morning. So what traditions do you have on Christmas morning? Because I love hearing other people's traditions. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Tell me what's a normal Christmas morning for you. When I was a little kid, when it was just me and my sister, we're 20 months apart as well. When it was just me and my sister, we would be so excited. We would wake up, we would grab our stockings and we would go to our parents' bed and we would try to wake them up and they would always be like, you need to go back to sleep. But of course, we got right into the stockings, so we would actually sit in the bed and open the stockings and we go in a circle so we go around and like everybody gets a chance and you have to wait while other people are opening the stockings do you do that or do you just like let your kids go crazy and open the stockings like right away let me know below in the comments i'm planning to do something similar with my kids i'd love to see that tradition continue where we actually like once they're old enough when they can go down and like see the tree with all the presents grab the stockings and then come upstairs and we could do the stockings first christmas is not about the gifts it's not about the stocking stuffers it's about being together so if you're able to just like stretch the day make the day like just magical and special and just like different than every other day i think that that's what's most important this year especially is going to be a little bit strange I'm not gonna be with my whole family. We're a bi-coastal family, so I won't be seeing my sister this year. And I don't even think that we'll go to church on Christmas Eve because it's just the cases are, you know, rising with this virus and everything. So I think we'll probably be staying home and just having kind of like a low key Christmas, our first one with the four of us as a family. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I have a bunch of other videos coming out this month and I'm even gonna have like a last minute stocking stuffers idea for like what to do in case you don't plan ahead and it's the night before Christmas and you're panicking. So so hit subscribe if you want to see that video and I wish you a very happy holiday season. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget this video was a collaboration with my friend Rach. So head over to her channel and check out her video next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Just like
one true 